Hi guys! This is the edited version of this morning's video. I posted the video for Tracy's Tuesday Tips and then I went to Sanibel Beach with my kids and I was reading a couple of the comments and realized that I didn't make something really clear. So I unlisted it for a bit until I got home and then I could say the changes. So what happened was um, in my calculations at the end I put this pink page and it had kind of like the final calculations showing how I had taken all of the items times 30 cents. But when I talked about it, I didn't actually say that with my words and you know showing you that on the screen. So I decided to edit that just so it's clear and that there's no confusion and then repost it. So hello from Sanibel. P.S. If you're interested in seeing our pictures from Sanibel Beach today, you can go to my Instagram account and see all the pictures that we posted. Thanks. Hey, thanks for joining me for Tracy's Tuesday Tips. Today we're going to be talking about getting your Amazon products to ship to one warehouse and how that's going to save you money. So this is what I'm so irritated about today. FBA, when you're doing an FBA shipment to the warehouses, you know that Amazon can determine which warehouse that your products go to. So when I first started FBA, it was normally just one or two warehouses, and I was fine with that. And there's even some tricks that you can use, like not having a lot of multiples, you know, in your in your shipment, in order to try to get it to go to one place. And we've talked about that in previous videos, you know, some little tricks that you can do to try to get everything in just one or maybe two boxes. But what I've seen recently, especially over the last few months, is that the one or two boxes has turned into five different warehouses. And that's really excessive, you know, um, to have 40 items and have them distributed to five different warehouses. So what you end up having is a lot of little packages like this. This package has six items in it. It weighs two pounds and it cost me four dollars and something to send this to Amazon. Normally when I'm calculating all of my expenses, you know, to get my net profit per item, I'm figuring in 25 to 50 cents per item to ship. <clears throat> That's based on my experience of being able to ship approximately 40 items per box, keeping the box under 50 pounds and being able to ship in that box for about $20. That's what my average has been, but it's being disrupted. I have six items in here and it's costing me almost $5 to ship. Then now instead of being 25 cents or 50 cents per item, I'm at almost a dollar per item. And that is unacceptable. So that is what we're going to talk about today. Here's <laughs> my big box. So this box weighs about 40 pounds and this box cost me $19 to ship. So for my six items, it cost me $4, almost $5. And for my 40 items, it cost me nearly um, $19. So we're gonna do some math calculations. Okay, so what had irritated me yesterday is I had a total of 46 items that I was trying to send into the Amazon warehouse. And Amazon was trying to divide it up into six different warehouses and each package going to each warehouse was approximately right around $6. Some of them were a little bit less, some of them were a little bit more, but you know, it averaged out to about um, six packages at $36 total. And what I found when I try to go back and put them all in one order is that I had 46 items. I had one package at $20 for shipping, but then I had to add an additional cost of the 30 cents times the 46 items, which that equals um, $13. And let's see. It's 30 times 46, $13.80, that's right. So that's 20 plus 13.86. So it cost me 
$33.80, right? Okay, yeah, that's right. So $33.80 to ship in the box, shipping it to one warehouse. So that's how the calculation went because when you look at it, you think it's more expensive with the $0.30 cents per item additional fee. But when you look at it this way, when you have it going, you know, it depends on how many locations. And that's why it's nice that you can turn it on and off in your settings because sometimes you know it really justifies it to do it and sometimes it may not but in this instance um, it does because you can see here that I'm already saving money by doing it that way I'm saving um, two dollars and twenty cents plus you think about all the packing material, you know, I had to have and, um, all the boxes or the poly bags. I had to have, um, you know, well, the packing being the materials, the boxes, the poly bag, the tape. But more importantly is the time and the frustration. It is hard to try to do multiple boxes. It's more time consuming. It takes me a lot more time and a lot more frustration to try to do it to six different warehouses than putting it all in one box, taping it up, and shipping it out. I only have, you know, one set of labels versus six set of labels and on and on and on. So if even if I broke even, I would certainly opt, you know, to do it in one box just because of what we had said. But if I'm going to save any amount of money and have all of this, then for sure I don't want to do that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do to get this changed is you're going to go under your Amazon Seller Central. You're going to go to Settings and then you're going to scroll down to the Fulfillment by Amazon, which is right there at the bottom. And then you're going to click on that and this is the screen that's going to come up. So these are all your services. And then this is what we're looking for right here though, this inventory placement option. I want to edit these inbound settings right here. And when you look on this first one, inventory placement option, this is the default setting. This is where Amazon tells you which warehouse it's going to be sent to, sometimes four or five, as you saw. But we're going to click on this one here, inventory placement service. And if you click here, this learn more, because there is a fee attached to this, and you can read all about it here. But essentially, it's 30 cents per item to have this service where it's all going to one place. So um, we're going to talk about that here in a minute. I just want to show you uh, where to update that information. Click update and success. We have it all going to one warehouse now. Yay! Hope today's video was helpful to you. Please like and subscribe below if you haven't already and check out www.entrepreneurgirl.net. I look forward to our next video. Bye guys!